Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything from the First Royal Aerospace Squadron, and what we're doing today is taking a test drive of the Mustangs, uh, each one in turn. And uh, in this video, what we're going to do is highlight the Delta model of the Mustang. And um, this is a little bit different format than what you're used to. What I'm doing now is uh, going through the Mustang brochure talking about its specs and its stats and then uh, going to Arena Commander and taking it for a test run because this weekend uh, CIG has let everybody test fly the uh, Mustang variants. Here's the brochure. It has mass reduction armor. I'm reading this as long as long, you know right along with you guys. Uh, yeah, strong hole construction. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe stronger than the other Mustangs, but uh, the Mustangs all have a have a. They're known for being fragile. Okay, it has the uh, Badger repeater. Uh, it also has the M3A laser cannon turret. It also has the bearing R18 pods, which basically I believe each pod has 18 rockets. Yeah, and this is what it. The stats. So it has a max crew of one. It has an ACOM Starheart 3 size 2. I don't know if that means it has two size 2 power plants. Uh, max power plant size would be three, so I doubt it. I don't know what that two is for. And then uh, two consolidated Outland Magma Jet TR2 engines, max size TR2. So it has eight Hydra M116 TR1 maneuvering thrusters. It has the SEAL core. Inc. 1 uh, size 1 bubble shield factory. And of course, it has the consolidated outline Icebox P cooling system. Now, this has a, whoops, this has a number of weapons. It has two size 2s on the sides, and what's equipped are the Badgers. Uh, it also has Two bearing rocket pods, and it has uh, one pintle turret there with two M3s. Okay, see, and, and this is just the opposite way that I would load it out. I would load that into there and that into there. Um, yeah, and it has it. This the, the Delta actually has a jump engine, which I'm kind of surprised it has a jump engine because of the fact that it has no sleeping quarters. And then it also has consolidated outlines, cavalry class, mass reduction armor. Now, I don't know if that means it has very lightweight armor um, or if it has armor that makes it, that, that reflects uh, its signature, making it look like it's a smaller vessel than it is, like uh, for your sensors, because that's kind of hinted at that. And now it has something to do with your cross segment, section signature, but you know, hey, whatever. All right, let's take that for a flight. Seems to be flying okay. I like the uh, added, um, I don't know if it's a rail or, you know, like a, I forget what they call that in cockpits, where you actually can see where the cockpit starts and stops. The trim or whatever. Oh, it jerked. I put a missile into him at the last second. You probably didn't see it. And I shouldn't have gone after him anyway because one of my wingmen were already on him. Okay. 
Okay, up seems to be no problem, but going down. And I don't fly at 100% throttle all the time, every time. I notice a lot of guys that are flying out there just put it at 100 throttle and ignore it. I don't do that. I try to keep it a little bit under 100% and that way uh, I should have more maneuverability. Turn rate should be higher. I really want this guy. Really? That was pretty quick, actually. Let me sit up in my chair. <laughs> I'm all hunched over. I see a rebar just flying through my cockpit. Right as he turned around and went to uh, went to uh, decoupled, that's when I launched my rockets and I hit him. Because when you're decoupled, you're pretty much too predictable. Little King died too quick. 
Raid is not doing too bad. Just gotta get used to it. Like I said, I would switch the uh, way the weapons fire. Well, not fire, but um, yeah. You have to reset them each time you load because they put the missiles on your mouse button. And, yeah.
You can kind of see the rock here. Okay, now let's wave six is a uh, is usually a, diff a more difficult wave. Let's see how it does in wave six. That'll be the last wave for the test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Wow, look at that. Spectacular destruction. No need for reintegration. Uh, let's go ahead and end that right there. So yeah, that one flew a little bit better. It had a little bit more punch, uh, but it's still not armored enough. You know, it is a budget. It's a budget ship. So the Delta for someone on a budget, that'd be a great ship to get for a fighter. But uh, I think the Hornet uh, Charlie, which is the civilian model, is still better than the um, still better better than the Delta. But uh, time will tell on repair costs and weapon replacements and things like that. So um, thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and see you in the verse.